Big time lightweight action coming up this weekend in Vegas, the small cage. It's going to be home to Maheta, Maheta, Ishmael Bonfim. And he's going to be taking on God of War, Benoit Saint-Denis. And Matt, this should be an all-timer. Oh, yeah. Because if you look at it for Benoit Saint-Denis, the background, a little bit of judo. Then he was in, you know, the SAS, the French Special Forces. He got accustomed to jiu-jitsu. He's rounded out his striking as he's gone along at the Venom Training Center in Paris. And if you look at it for Saint-Denis, his last two fights out after the Eliseo Zaleska de Santos fight... One. He looked great against uh, the Green Mask, Nicholas Stutz. And his last time out, he fought part-time weekend fighter Gabriel Miranda. And it was wild. It was one of those performance of the night bonuses in the second round. But both those two guys went at it. San Denis striking dropped one Gabriel Miranda at three points in that fight. Now, I counted four knockdowns, but two in the first round, two in the second round. San Denis, the floor was lava against Fly Miranda's jiu-jitsu, but San Denis really shone in that fight. And for Bonfim, I mean, just continues to win the boxing pedigree, but his last time out, over 4,000 topology votes on that fight against Terrence McKinney. 80% McKinney, and Bonfim classed him, pieced him up on the striking, landed that knee, and looked amazing in that matchup. We talked a lot about Bonfim coming into that fight, so let's throw it on back to that for a second. But when you look at a Frishmael Bonfim, just like his brother Gabriel, he has a record in boxing. 24-3 and as an amateur, 4-1 and as a pro, but one of the guys that he beat, like that was from 2016 to 2018, was 5 29 and 1. So it wasn't the greatest level of competition in boxing, but a, a record to have nonetheless. And from Ishmael, as good as he is with his striking, he's very well rounded. And I think Gabriel might be the better of the bomb from brothers, even though Ishmael has some losses. It, it is against better competition. But for Ishmael, what he can do so well is counter and bait you into a lot of those shots back up and he does move his head quite well and then again his left hook is one of his best shots and he looks to land it quite a bit now again could he get caught with the lean back and he gets hit by a big shot i bet and i'm sure we're going to hear that from you in the comments and section. that's why we talk about the lean back being a bad defensive he, move like good defensive strikers slip they don't lean he reminds me a lot though of his teammate from serato mma in a guy like vicente luque kind of waiting baiting keeping his hands up yeah. and then looking to counter strike on that recoil again a thing that i do like out of him is is he can also throw his left hand not just as a traditional hook but as a bit of a shovel hook in some of his fights just a different angle that you have to look for so if you remember out of that bomb from fight against mckinney it was actually a really early knee from mckinney that landed a bomb from and then bomb from goes what of it and then he started to get the brazilian crowd into it Awesome to see that. A giant performance bonus for Bonfim in that matchup. His brother then fought later. Crazy to see those two brothers competing. But you look at a fight like this where Bonfim's got some jiu-jitsu and some get-ups. He showed really good takedown defense and actually worked the takedown against a good wrestler in McKinney. So that's going to play out a little bit in this fight against Saint-Denis. And Saint-Denis striking continues to get better. It's not where Bonfim's is. I was going to say. But you look at a fight like this. I'm sure Vyacheslav Kisilev is probably not going to watch this fight. He loves the fight. But Matt, when you look at a fight like this, are you as excited as I am? Because I think the fans should be. I'm really excited for this fight, but I liken it to our school bus growing up, going up that big hill near where we live, and I'll just leave it at that. Because for St. Denis, he's going to have to give it his all to get over the hump, and he's really going to have to be active. He's going to have to be like the driver, just putting the pedal to the metal and letting it spin. Because for St. Denis, it is going to be difficult for him to excel in a lot of just straight one areas. Now, I do think his wrestling is going to be active enough for him to go out there and get takedowns against a guy like Bonfim, but you bring it up. Bonfim Bonfim is not some zero on the mat. He has defensive submissions off the initial takedown, and he does some good get-ups. He likes to go for those butterfly hooks, kind of like BJ Penn, kick to get back up. And Prime he, BJ Penn. Prime BJ Penn, not this new iteration. But he does have the grappling pedigree to where if he does get taken down, I don't necessarily worry about it completely. But I do think St. Denis can have a lot of success from that top position. But even for St. Denis, I think it's just going to be a matter of being a mixed martial artist to his fullest uh, totality. Because if he can use his activity, then he does have good activity. He's got good strength good wrestling and he's not someone who's going to completely fall off a cliff like we even saw that in the Elysio fight he was getting beat pillar to post but in the third round he was still in that fight so I think for St. Denis it does come down to how long can he just make Bonfim work and be active because I do think during a lot of those active moments St. Denis can win but if Bonfim is able to initiate his boxing let's say he kind of does what a lot of guys started to do to Jack Hermanson just defend all of his initial takedown attempts and force him to become a striker because if he is able to have that kind of a game plan I do think his boxing 
boxing combinations are quite superior to Saint Denis. I bet Benoit Saint Denis, when he was in the seventh grade, had back hair like one of my friends did. Just built like a man when you're 12. If you look at it for Benoit Saint Denis, a very young 27, but he's aged through this process. And if you look at it for him, I mean, even in the fight against Miranda, Saint Denis gets rocked. And then he lands a spinning back fist that lands. Insane. And then a couple of seconds later, spinning back elbow that lands. Like, Santini got incredibly creative in that fight against Miranda to get that performance bonus. And now, I mean, two guys off of performance bonuses against one another. It'll be great to see. And if Santini can get another win over a Brazilian, I mean, do you put him back in Rio wow. again? Like at UFC 283. A night where 9-8 and eight were the Brazilian fighters. But there was some Brazil-to-Brazil -Brazil violence. As we have in our next fight with Ariane Lipsky taking on Melissa Gatto. But if you do consider this matchup, I mean, San Denis one of those fighters. If you go back and watch him with Brave. Lightweight, the welterweight, the 165 experience. You look at the no contest that was on his record. He was losing the fight against Paul Kiliak, and at the end of it, they raised his opponent's hand because there was a cut on Saint Denis. But after the fact, they ruled it a no contest due to a, a clash of heads, and it was one of those situations where the ring looked like the Cage Warriors ring, and it was Ross Houston, Nicholas Dalby. Oh. Going back and watching that fight today was a lot of fun, though. So if you look at it for Saint Denis. He puts a lot of his brawn into his takedowns, but they are very good. The judo's good. The jiu-jitsu's good. You've seen the striking lately against Stutz and against Miranda, but you know he can get it done at all facets. And Bonfim, a very, very good boxer, but a speedy boxer too. And I think in some of those spots where you saw Miranda kind of wilt a little bit when the striking got tough, Bonfim's one of those guys. He's, bite down. he's in, he's out. He's not in on a line either, and he moves his head quite well to throw those combinations. Oh, wow. His left hook's a laser. His right cross is great too, so There's look out for those in these matchups. I mean, Bonfim is favored quite a bit. We have a look at the topology vote. Surprise us there to you. I think it's going to be competitive until it's not for one of these guys. I'm going to say over under 75% Bonfim here. I'll say over because he is the much more damaging striker. And it there. is 759 total votes. 86% Bonfim. 31% by decision. 59% by knockout. For the 14% that have Benoit Saint-Denis. 50% by decision. 18% by knockout. And I think Saint-Denis can have success in the first round of this matchup. Oh, yeah. I think Bonfim can carry it a little bit as it goes along, but I just like the movement on the feet of a guy in Bonfim. And for me, kind of check that box of the wrestling against McKinney to where I can see him having success against Saint Denis. But I think Bonfim's got a speed advantage over a lot of the lightweights out there. I would agree. I really do think Bonfim is one of the more complete boxers and, in this division. I'm not saying that means he's going to win the title. I think his really brother Gabriel's better, which is crazy. They're really good at fighting. It's kind of insane. But for I also have Bonfim in the matchup. But. I can see this going to a decision. I know a lot of the topology voters see this ending by knockout, but I do think St. Denis is going to be in there for the fight. We've seen him take a lot of damage. I think his takedowns are going to help him evade some of that damage too. Just get his head out of some bad positions. But I think this should be an incredible fight because that's the thing. St. Denis will force the action against a guy like Bonfim and really make him initiate a lot of those big power shots. Let us know who you have down below in the matchup. Both of us going with Maheta Ishmael Bonfim to get the win. Some big time fights on this card, including... The queen of violence. She's taking on Melissa Gatto. You're not going to want to miss it. Keep it locked in with Fight Name Picks. We always say, let's, let's get, get into it. it.